Welcome to this session friends, my name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss on steps those we need to follow while performing storage migration on system running CentOS or Red Hat. Your release may be Red Hat 5, Red Hat 6 or Red Hat 7. So same procedure will work on uh, all releases. So first thing when we need to do storage migration. So scenarios may be multiple but I have listed uh, couple of uh, main scenarios when your existing storage is getting end of life or it may be already end of life your new storage got more feature or high performance if you compare it with your existing storage your new storage is highly scalable and uh, which every company wants every set of wants to uh, have a highly scalable storage so these are the scenarios which I can think of at very basic level Okay, in my lab setup, I got uh, a server which is running on Red Hat 7 and uh, for volume manager, I am using LVM. Existing storage is uh, 2 into 8 GB LUNs. They are coming from uh, FreeNAS and they are on iSCSI protocol. My new storage is from VMware. They are VDisks and uh, size is similar, 2 LUNs of 8 GB capacity. The steps at high level which I have to follow first scan the new storage once your new storage is scanned and visible at your OS layer then add new storage to your LVM configuration then perform the data migration using pvmove one data migration is completed release the old storage so friends let's begin with technical session let me show you existing configuration in my server I got uh, this particular mount point application which is coming or created from this particular VG iSCSI VG let me show you VG configuration iSCSI VG it goes two physical volumes and uh, size is 15.99 which is approximate 16 GB let me show you PVs here it goes two PVs iSCSI VG if you see this particular bit two PVs SDB SDC they are part of iSCSI VG and now let me show you block device configuration sorry for typo okay in block device configuration I got uh, same drives SDB SDC which are visible here as part of VG they are iSCSI drives okay so first thing as I said uh, we have to we have to discover new storage so friend this is my lab setup I have manually created uh, two drives at VMware layer let me show you those drives so this is my VMware workstation I got two drives of 8 GB hard disk 2 and hard disk 3 they are both are of 8 GB size I have already created so let's discover the storage uh, friends one thing I want to mention in your actual setup your drives may, new drives may be coming from uh, Hitachi or EMC or HP storage but this is my lab setup so I'm not uh, talking about those steps will be same so first thing we have to scan the controller in my case controller is host 2 if you see this particular bit you can replace it with the the controller as per your setup okay so I'm scanning the new lens okay scanning is done first thing we will validate whether LUNs are visible or not I will use same LSBLK which is a list block devices which are type SCSI here if you see these new two drives are visible SDD and SDE and type is VMware so as I shown I just created two drives so first thing which we need to do here in PVS if we see as of now we got only two drives SDB and SDC which are part of iSCSI VG so let's add the new drives in uh, LVM configuration so drives will be PV create dev slash STD and SDE okay so now let's check PVS so drives are added let's make them part of VG so we have to expand the VG VG extend is the command then your VG name VG name is iSCSI VG then the new drives SDD 
and SD. You can uh, add those in single shot by mentioning both drive and single command, but for simplicity, so you can easily understand uh, I'm performing in that way. So drives are added. Let's check uh, physical volume configuration now. So if you see old drives are added, means two new drives are added. So now we have to do the PV move. PV move is basically data migration from one drive to other. So in our case, PV move, first we will have to specify old drive. This is the first old drive as DB, then new drive to which you want to migrate data. So data will be migrated from SDB to SDD. SDB is iSCSI drive, this is VMware drive. Pressing enter here. So data migration will start. It may take some time depending upon your disk size and data. So it's almost done friends. To check whether data actually moved from drive SDB to SDD, we can run LVS minus A space minus O plus devices. If you see here, these are the device configuration. So data, this particular LV here, SDD and SDC, they are showing zero. Let me compress it the way. So right now only drives SDD and SDC are having data. So it mean uh, data got migrated from drive SDB. So next step we have to do, we have to migrate our data from drive SDC to SDE. So friend, don't get confused. Let me show you LSBLK, the block devices configuration. So we just migrated data from drive SDB to SDD. So next step, which is uh, second iSCSI drive SDC to SDE. Okay, so here SDC to SDE. I can run same command press enter data migration will start, but I want to show you one switch. You can run it in background using minus B. So minus B mean uh, this whole process will run in background. I'm pressing enter here. So data migration started and uh, if you want to look, I will show you how we can check what is the progress. So friends, uh, this is the progress of uh, PV move. So data is migrating from drive SDC to SDE, if you see here. And right now 2.30, uh, that's uh, progress. So 2.3% data is migrated. So it will take some time here. I will pause this video for a couple of minutes till migration gets completed. So PV move still going on friends. Progress is 51% now. Okay friends, so data migration is completed and if you see device configuration or LVS configuration here, only new drives are appearing SDD and SDE. So there is no SDB or SDC which were old devices. So Data migration is done, but if you want to show, just run PVS. If you see PVS here, to the existing drives, it is showing 8 GB free. Out of 8 GB, 8 GB is free. It means these drives are not having any data. And these were our old iSCSI drives. These are new drives. All 8 GB is utilized. So friends, data migration is done. So next step we have to do, first we need to verify whether date application mount point data is there or not if you see data is there we can see data is there so next step we have to remove these drives from volume group when i say these drives i mean old drives the old storage LAN. so to do that i have to do vg reduce then vg name then the drive which I want to remove. So in my case, old drives are SDB and SDC. 
Okay, so this drive is removed. Now remove SDC. Both drives are removed. Let's send PVS. So these two drives are not part of any volume group now. So next step, do PV remove. First SDB, then SDC. Now run PVS. So now LVM got only new drives, which are SDD and SDE. Old drives are removed. So next step friends, we have to clear the device tree from operating system. What it mean if you still run fdisk minus L grep4 sdb drive is still there. So it is not cleaned up from uh, operating system device layer. It, we just cleaned it from LVM configuration. So to clean it from operating system, we have to do echo one and pass this parameter to sys block then your device which is sdb first device then device and delete so we are just enabling delete function so sdb is deleted and second drive sdc now run fdisk minus l sdc if you see it is not there and sdb so both drives are not there so friends it means we have performed data migration successfully we have release the operating the old storage from operating system now so next step you can ask your storage team to reclaim the lands reclaim the lands like they will perform unmapping and they will delete the old lands so friends th these were the steps which we need to follow to perform storage migrations if you have any query or any suggestion you can leave your comment on my youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching this video friends thanks bye bye